Hey, Hero Kato, welcome to my program and thank you so much for joining me for this conversation about how it is to uh, get a driver's license in Japan. Okay, so, uh, um, okay, so driver's license in Japan, it's very complicated. Um, there are a few types of driver, uh, driver's license and um, those few types um, are for a few types of vehicles like uh, mopeds and um, a passenger vehicle and also uh, uh, like uh, and also there's a driver's license for uh, driving a trailer so and also there's a driving uh, driver's license for buses trucks and also um, like little machines like you use for farming or like in a uh, you know, what, th those little lifts. So there are many types of uh, driver's license in Japan. And um, the most basic one, um, or uh, the, the, the very first driver's license you can get is from uh, 16. Uh, so if, if, you get, uh, if you become 16 years old, you're able to get the moped um, driver's license. Uh, and, uh, um, and also, you can get the moped driver's license, and also the other one is called the Kogata Tokushu, which uh, which literally means small special vehicle driver's license. So that's for like uh, like uh, tractors or um, vehicles that use for farming purposes, or also uh, those little lifts are. Uh, so you can y y if you want to drive those those little vehicles, you need to get the Kogata Tokushu driver's license. So. Um, those two driver's lessons uh, is um, from 16, I guess. Um, let me just re uh, re um, let me just really um, just quickly check uh, if I'm wrong. Um, so, but the most the but the most popular or the most um, people are the like, like the most type people get is the the um how should i say it, it's called um which literally translates to um normal normal vehicle driver's license which is for like those ordinary, ordinary four-wheeler passenger vehicles so like the cars you daily see in it's japanese what I, in japanese futsu is like normal and yeah you know, high school high school has a futsuka like a regular yeah, yeah, track yeah. so i guess yeah, it yeah. means normal and regular yes yeah, so and um that's the one that most people take for their first driver's license and uh, with having that driver's license you are able to um drive the moped somebody um which uh, so which is called Genski Menkyo. Well, Genski uh, actually is uh, abbreviated to, um, is a short term for Gendotsuki Jitensha. And Gendotsuki Jitensha means. Gendo uh, Gendo Ki. Gendo yes. Ki. yes. So Gendo, Gendo Ki means uh, en uh, engine in Japanese. Tsuki and means attached. Yes, yeah. attached. So, and Jitensha means a bicycle. So, um, so those little bike, uh, those little motorbikes, uh, or mopeds are called Gensuki in Japan. You know, in my state, Virginia, USA, I don't even know if we need a license for a moped. But oh I yeah, I, I hear. I hear most country um, don't require any special driver's license for driving mopeds. I think um, it's pretty rare. I think so. And one uh, uh, one of the countries also in, uh, well is Japan, and also. Um, actually, uh, there are three types of uh, driver's license you can take when you get 16. So one's the moped license, and one, one other is um, the um, small special vehicle license. And the other one, the the other one is the futsu nirin menkyo, which is um, normal normal motorcycle driver's license. So using two wheels. Yes, two wheel. So needing means a uh, two wheel, and um, 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 two needing is uh. So you need you need this license to uh. You you want this license if you are driving a motorcycle, which is 
which its engine displacement is over 50, 50 cc and is under 400 cc. How big is that? How big is a moped? So moped, moped, moped in, mopeds in Japan are or, uh, usually 50 cc. So you don't, you need a license for that? Yeah, you, you need, uh, you need the Genski license. Okay. Yeah, so, yeah, so, um, so f for driving motorcycles in Japan, the most, most, the most basic or the, the, the smallest one is the Genski. And on top of that is the Futsujido Nirin. So, uh, normal, um, normal two wheeler. And on top of that, there's the Ogata Jido Nirin, which is the, um, literally translates to a uh, big, big two wheeler. Which is a uh, big two wheeler thing or Ogata Jido Nirin is required to, uh, uh, is required when you want to drive a motorcycle, which is, which it's the engine displacement is over 400 cc. Yes. Um, what is that? Well, what is that measuring? Is it the size of the yes, engine? It's, yeah, it's the size of the engine. So the it, inside. Yes. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, it's the size of the engine. So, but most people take, uh, just simply take the Futsujido Shamenki, which is, um, like I said, is the uh, driver's license re required to drive like an everyday car, like a uh, like just a normal four wheeler. Yes. And um, um, so, and also the process to get the license is also very complicated. And um, there are two, well, there are mainly two ways to get uh, a driver's license in Japan. And um, the first way is to go to a driver uh, driving school. And so by going to a driving school, you study, um, you study various kinds of um, things to drive. Well, well, to drive and also to get uh, to pass the test. And oh, also, and I need to um, explain the testing. Uh, process. Um, so basically, there are two tests, and well, four, I guess. Yeah. Well, in total, it's four. But the first two tests is the the first one is called the gakka uh, which is uh, which means like a writing a writing test, and there are uh, fifty uh, fifty questions, and you need to um, you need to answer. 45 correctly to get uh, to pass the test. This is simple multiple choices. Um, it's uh, it's a yes no question. Yes, and after passing that test, um, you need to um, take the jitsugi uh, scan, which is which requires you to actually drive the car in a closed cl uh, closed test area, and. If you pass those two, uh, you're able, uh, you, you will get a karimenkyo, which uh, is a temporary driver's license. Okay. And after that, uh, so having a karimenkyo allows you to drive in public, ro uh, public roads, but you need to uh, have someone who's, uh, who has their driver's license for over two or three years. I think what's two, let me, let me just check real quick. Um, um, so you need to, you need to have someone who, who is, uh, who's been a driver for a long, for about, um, two years. Yes. Um, let me just check. Well, yeah, so two or three years and, and then that makes, um, you, uh, able to, um, drive or like practice on public roads. After that, after like driving for at least maybe six days or five days, you can go to the ne uh, you can proceed to the next step, uh, which is uh, which is the test for hommenkyo, which is uh, where it translates to the real um, driver's license. Hon in Japanese means like real. Yeah, honto. real yeah. or yeah, honto, yes. yes. Menkyo is a license. Yes, yes, and after. 
um, um, after proceeding to the home maker process, you need to take the test again. And you need to take the paper test, uh, which is, I think, uh, it's like, I think was double, double the amount. I think it was like 100 questions and you need to pass like 90, uh, 90 correct. And after that, there's the Jitsugi Shiken or, uh, or the Gino Shiken. Yeah, it, it's actually called Gino, not Jitsugi, sorry. So like, so literally means um, technical um, test, more like that. And Gino Shiken requires uh, um, participants to drive on public roads with, um, with um, uh, staff uh, or, well, it's actually a police officer but uh, it, requ it requires uh, police officers to um, join the test. And after passing that test, you finally get your driving license. Yes. That's very complicated and yes, really... very complicated. And um, most people, uh, like I said earlier, go to driving schools to, um, to, complete their, um, to, um, to complete their most testing process in school. So that makes them uh, only taking the the last the very last uh, technical test at the uh, at the um, place called the Untemenkyo um, Center, um, which literally translates to um, Driver's License Center. But, have... Yeah. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Um, what's the cost of this whole um, schooling? Um, it depends on. Um, how long you take actually well but most uh, driving schools cost about um about let me just um about two thousand or two thousand five hundred us dollars i guess pretty expensive yeah. yes so okay. yeah about nijuman or sanjuman but um if you just finish the whole process very fast it doesn't cost you much but if you are not good at driving and if you're not you know used to those you need to take take classes and courses longer so which makes you pay more i know there is a way to shortcut the yes, whole thing yes. and and then they call it the tobikomi I jump in could you yes, describe yes. that uh, one? And is that what you did actually? Yes, um, that's uh, what I'm um, challenged now, and that was uh, that's the thing I was trying to explain now, and it's called the well. Um, there's there isn't uh, like an official name for that, so people just call it tobikomi scan or ipatsu scan, well, like a jumping in um, test or one time um, like uh, for, well, one chance testing. Well, there are various uh, names for that, but so, so that process. Um, so, if you want to, well, that process is best if you are confident enough, enough about your driving. So, if you are like really good at driving, or if you already um, um, know how to drive or maybe um i don't know someone um f uh, some of your friends or your family taught you to how to drive you're a uh you can challenge that but but it's very difficult comparing to what you uh, uh what you're required at driving school so tobikomi you skip the schooling part yes and then so, go directly to the final driving test um not like, not exactly. So, um, to, uh, Ipatsu Shiken or Tobikomi Shiken is, um, you entirely go to that driver, uh, driving license center, uh, and you take, you take the, uh, the first, um, writing test, paper test at the center. Well, uh, which most people take at driving schools. And after that, you're able, you're eligible to challenge the, the technical test, which requires to um, drive around the course. But that's, what, uh, that's a thing that most people do at drivers, uh, driver, uh, driving schools too. Got it. And after that two tests is complete, you get the Karimankyo. And after that, you, get, uh, you take the, um, the paper test again, 
And after passing that test, it's the final technical test. So the merit of going through the driving school is that they waive certain things that yes, you need because so, they get you get to do it at the school. Some yeah, yeah, yeah. Things, so yeah. the merit, uh, the most big um, merit is that you, I think, like you're able to get the. Uh, you're able to get your license very fast because you don't need to take classes. You don't need to, um, um, like, you know, take, um, you know, three or four hours a day just listening to your teacher speaking about um, laws and how to drive because you are you already know those things. And also, it's a, it's a, it's way cheaper than going to schools. Yeah. When Tobikomi people, jumping people, take the final driving test, will the examiner know that you are a Tobikomi and they may become a little bit more strict or even mean? Um, not sure because um, actually the final test is, um, I think every, um, everyone needs to take the final test at the center. So it doesn't matter whether... Um, you went to a school or you didn't go to a school. Um, so if um, it, the final test uh, requires you to, to take at the center, even if you uh, graduate a driving school. But um, for the first technical test, which is for the karimenkyo, is entirely um, for the tobikomi shiken. So if you... So if you take that karimenkyo technical test at the center, it means you are not going to school. It, it proves that um, you're, you are not going to school. In America, um, taking a driver's test is not very expensive. Maybe it's kind of free, maybe, but oh. you may have to pay maybe $10 oh, okay. or something. Mm. Um, so people may feel surprised to hear, you know, that you guys yeah, have such yeah, a complex. Yeah. So what yeah. is the merit of the system and what are the disadvantages you think? Exists? Well, yeah. um, it's actually very strict in Japan. And well, um, mo most people say um, the, the expensive price is what it takes to, um, you know, be responsible. To driving and uh, to drive at public roads. Well, I don't think so because I I see many road races going on public roads and many drivers who don't actually understand how to drive or those laws. But um, so well, it's just like it's well, I would say it's like a responsibility to just pay the to pay expensive fees. So. Um, but, but like, but like a true, but like a real guy who really loves driving and who is really good at driving is, uh, uh well, takes, uh, the Ipatsu Shiken. So, um, I personally think that, um, people who go to drivers, uh, dr driving schools, are like, um, they just want to get this little card to just drive on public roads. It doesn't matter if they are good at it or bad at it. They just want, they, they just want the permit to drive on public roads. Thank you, Hiro Kato, an expert of car issues in Japan. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. Eigo no do mata ashita. 